It's fair to say that Firebase C is an incredible addition to Cold War Zombies. At this point, you feel like you know a lot about the map, but in this video, I'm going to be teaching you 10 secret tips and tricks that is going to instantly turn you into a 200 IQ player. Even if you think you know it all, you might learn something new in this video, so I definitely recommend you check out all the tips we've got to show you. And if you're new and enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I heard if you do, you'll get the Ray K out of the mystery box on your first hit. I don't want you wasting your points on that box, okay? And a long gaming session on Call of Duty should never be without G Fuel. If you've never tried it or thinking of getting a restock, be sure to use code Dalek at checkout for a discount. But let's begin with tip number one, which is parkour in Firebase Z. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this parkour strategy in the spawn room to skip that first door and teleport straight to the firebase. Now, Treyarch are going to be patching this at some point, so make use of this whilst you can, as I'm demonstrating in this gameplay here. Now, there's a few other methods you can use to get to this same position, but until this gets patched, this is the easiest method and you guys should be using it every game. That way you can teleport to the firebase and use your 500 points to start the trial machine. Because the sooner in your game you start doing trials, the earlier around you'll have a legendary waiting for you, which can guarantee you a pack-a-punched weapon along with a fire sale, carpenter, and even the chance at getting the Ray K as early as round four. Now, while editing this, I got the most insane RNG trials and I actually got the wonder weapon on round two. So I can't stress enough how useful this tactic is for the early game to set you up. Now, continuing on with shortcuts, tip number two involves using Aoife Shroud Tier 3. And this is the ability on this map to actually teleport through entire buildings using this ability. As you see here in the data center jump pad, if I look in this direction and use my Aoife Shroud, I completely bypass having to run down the staircase and I'm suddenly in barracks too. If there's a lot of zombies in your way and you just have to get out of here really quickly, this is really useful. Here's the same trick again from the Sky Bridge and as you see, I'm back here in the open lot, bypassing that entire staircase. In some angles, you can even teleport to the helipad. This trick is really popular with speedrunners, so if you want to save yourself some time, get yourself out of a situation, this could be a great option. Tip number three is going to be how to activate the bunny easter egg every time without any zombies disrupting you, because you have to stare at this bunny for around 15 to 20 seconds without ever breaking your stare at the bunny. And on a round or even at the end of a round keeping a zombie, this is very hard. This step will guarantee that no zombies will attack you whilst you're doing this step. So all you need to do is go talk to Peck after you've turned on the power and activated Pack-a-Punch and then go to Ravanov as you would do if you were doing the main easter egg. So start the conversation and then run up the stairs and start staring at the bunny. During this Ravanov conversation, all the zombies are going to run away from you, guaranteeing that you'll stare at the bunny long enough to activate it and get that free juggernaut. Honestly, it's a lifesaver. Now let's move on to tip number four, and this is quite insane, but this is how to basically kill order during the assault wave rounds in literally 10 seconds or less. It is ridiculous and it doesn't require any kill streak, so I don't think Treyarch will change this. All you're going to need is the stoner, which you can buy off the wall in the courtyard, upgraded to tier 5 rarity and pack a punch three times with cryo freeze and ring of fire as your main ability. Now, watching this thing spawn in, you're going to be wanting to pretty rapidly start shooting in that general area area once the lightning has struck because even though his health bar doesn't appear you'll still start taking damage when you notice that you're about i don't know 30 to 20 bullets left in the clip activate your ring of fire and then you'll be able to just unload all your ammo into this thing without having to reload and as you can see there with me and my friend jakey in two player we took down order there in about 10 seconds and no matter what round you're doing this assault wave order boss fight on this stoner setup will take it down as quickly as you saw there it is absolutely incredible so for high round runs use the ray k and have the stoner in your back pocket for those order boss fight rounds you will not regret it and on the the topic of assault wave rounds here is tip number five which is infinite max ammos now as i'm sure you're aware when you complete an assault wave round you get a max ammo and a carpenter drop as your rewards and your efforts for completing that but if you leave those drops they will never despawn and what else is funny is that if you get another assault wave in the same area you'll be rewarded again with a max ammo and a carpenter and that doesn't respawn either so you can stack multiple max ammo 
combos and carpenter drops that will never ever despawn. Now since this game is so generous with the elites dropping ammo drops for you as well as ammo crates being everywhere, I don't know how useful this tip will be, but if you aren't necessarily needing a max ammo right away, you might as well just leave it and then when you do need it at some point in your game, just run over to the assault wave round area you did and pick it up. Now for tip number six, we're going to keep it order themed, but this is the final boss fight in the Easter egg and how you can take this guy down in literally 10 seconds or less. Now, similarly, the setup you'll want is the stoner tier three pack a punched at tier five rarity with cryo freeze. And the moment you're actually in the boss fight, you'll want to start spraying into that middle circular hole of the boss and then activate your ring of fire, crouch and continue to fire at the order boss. So if zombies do spawn, your crouched eye is perfect level to headshot the zombies and still fire at order. But as you can see, we didn't even have that problem. But let's take it one step crazier. Here's how to beat this boss even faster than that. And you're going to need the RPG tier 3 pack a punch at tier 5 rarity. The moment you're out of that cutscene, you'll want to activate your ring of fire and then start spraying because you'll never have to reload the RPG and you can just keep going crazy at this guy. And as you can see, it just does so much damage. It's insane. So if you do get the RPG from a trial reward that you don't care about, just pick it up and have it in your back pocket anyway, because you will not regret it for that ending boss fight. Now let's move on to tip number seven. And this is how to keep a zombie at the end of a round infinitely. And this is incredibly useful, reminiscent of the giant in Berry who could hold a crawler at the end of the round and this uses the essence traps that you get during the main easter egg if you weaken the last zombie in the round and trap it in an essence trap you will have the zombie out of your way for three whole minutes the map will literally be zombie three and after that three minutes you'll hear a countdown by a russian voice and then you'll hear us say dos vidanya with the zombie respawning in front of you now this zombie will respawn at the exact same health that you captured it in meaning it will basically be one shot so if you go back to the data center and get yourself another essence trap you can capture it again and hold it for another three minutes and for solo easter egg steps like doing the satellite watching the computer for the dartboard step of the ray k build or trying the free jump pad easter egg this is a really useful tip let's move on to tip number eight and this is how to build the ray k 84 before round 15 because you need a part from a mangler and manglers don't spawn until round 15 you can bypass this however by doing the main easter egg up until the canister step and doing the canister lockdown in the jungle defense because whilst you're in this lockdown you will actually have a mangler or two that will spawn and as long as you shoot their arm cannon off they will drop the magazine part needed for the ray k on whatever round you're trying this on now i tried to do this as low as possible but i had some unfortunate mimic luck so i only showed you this on round 14 but it is possible to do it really low round now tip number nine involves the ray and some advanced usage of the Ray K because some people still don't really know how to use this weapon efficiently. And I'm sure you guys know that the Ray K has two different firing modes. It has the full automatic burst fire and then it has a orb firing mode that shoots down a sort of grenade orb that you then switch back to the auto firing mode and shoot at to explode it. Now when switching modes, you have this really awkward delay that stops you from firing for a moment. And in the higher rounds, you just can't play with this delay. So there's a way to get rid of of it entirely which is by reload cancel switching to do this simply shoot down the orb like you normally would do and then press the up on your d-pad or b on your keyboard to switch the firing mode but then press reload at the same time and you'll notice the ray k will switch its firing mode way quicker now if you're doing this on controller like me it is a little awkward but i've been playing with a claw grip for years so this is weirdly quite easy for me but for you guys it might be a little bit harder to do but once you've got it down and you've been using the weapon enough with this trick you'll absolutely never look back and this all ties into our final tip of this video which is the high round strategy now this was first discovered by the mc zombie slayer so massive shout out to him who pioneered the high round strat in d machine and has now done it again in firebase and this all takes place in the weapon lab you want to have the door behind you towards jungle defense closed and all you need is the ray k84 upgraded tier 3 and you need ring of fire tier 3 all 
this strategy involves is shooting down an orb, then shooting it with the automatic fire so it explodes, killing all the zombies. And the moment you have your ring of fire charged up, you run towards this window that the zombies spawn from, activate it, and then simply rain down your fire at the only doorway that is in front of you. And then just rinse and repeat. Once it's ran out, just shoot down your orb, destroy the orb, do it a few times over with the zombies and the mimics and manglers that will spawn to get rid of them until you get your ring of fire back and shoot down an orb in front of you pop the ring of fire and then just rinse and repeat. With the amount of bosses that spawn from the window and get towards you from that front door, you're going to have a lot of ammo drops constantly from the bosses so you'll never run out of ammo. You've got an armory station just in front of you where you can get shield at the start of the round if you need to. And for safety, I definitely recommend you have a chopper gunner streak in your back pocket so that if things do get risky you're about to go down just pop the chopper gunner and just sit in it and that way all the zombies are going to run away from the location that you're in and you're going to have plenty of time to come out of that chopper gunner then run up grab some ammo from the ammo crate and then go to the workbench in the helipad where you can go back buy a self revive buy another chopper gunner then just run back in through multiple back into the weapon lab and then you're set up to go again now this isn't the only high round strategy on this map there are a few other great spots but for speed this is a spot which is currently unmatched the only thing that's stopping you from this strategy is just the switching of the fire rates efficiently enough the timing is pretty key here and that reload cancel fire switch is definitely going to be a skill you'll want to have perfected to do this strategy efficiently once you get past round 55 and you have those sprinter zombies that about wraps it up if you have any other tips and tricks that you'd love to share i'd honestly love to read them in the comment section below you can find one of my previous videos on your screen right now to click on and i'll see you there in just a few moments if you love zombie posters i have an incredible cold war zombies poster that's just launched that you can grab via the link in the description it is a full-on movie size poster double ended with park in d machina and samantha maxis in the dark ether you can have it up whichever way you want it looks fantastic if you want to grab one there is a link in the description along with my cold war zombies perk poster pack that now contains the tombstone perk as well thank you for watching i'll see you soon